What's up creators, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Today we're gonna to be talking about something special. A really highly requested topic. It's my Instagram export settings and my YouTube export settings. So let's hop on the computer and let me show you right now. All right, so now we're here on the computer. I'm gonna show you guys about Instagram post first. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little tab right here and go to new sequence. And we're gonna do digital SLR 1080p at 24 frames per second. Okay, that doesn't matter because we're gonna change the sequence, but it is in 24 frames per second. So we're gonna bring a project in that we wanna export out for Instagram. Drag that in, boom. Now I usually check these off real quick. Go here, let's go to sequence, sequence settings. Now this is where we make our settings for an IG post. We're gonna do a four by five. So I believe it's 1200 by 1500, which is a four by five ratio. Now this fits on an Instagram post if you zoom out and it'll fill up a big picture on your phone. It just looks good as a vertical post because it fills up the whole screen and kind of is pleasing to the eye because it's really big when you're scrolling down Instagram. So sometimes I might make this actual sequence settings and edit a video for an Instagram post, but majority of the time I edit a video in 1080p export it out for like a YouTube or something like that. Then I'll bring it in like this and I'll size it to fit that actual four by five ratio. So as you can see over here in our main project, it's pretty big. So what we wanna do is highlight this and we don't wanna bring the size down to actually fit to the actual four by five. I'm thinking it's gonna be around 70. Boom, 70 works, it fits perfect. Now if we play that through, that video is fitting right into that four by five ratio and now we're ready to export for Instagram. Some cases the clips may be a little off to the left or the right and we need to frame them different. So what I would do in that case is I would go, I would skip frames to the point where I need to reframe this and then I go to the end of this clip, going frame by frame, boom, right there. Then I'll come back to this frame and I'll highlight it, go to motion, and I'll position it over. Maybe I want myself to be more in frame or maybe I want the actual computer screen to be in frame. So that's basically how you reframe it to fit that four by five and make it look really good for Instagram. But anyway, that's another topic. Let's get to these export settings. So when I got my video all ready to export out, I'll go to file, export, export media. Typically I'll come to the preset section and I'll go all the way down to YouTube 1080p full HD, right? So that kind of sets up all the settings for what I want. I'll click match source, which will match it to the four by five ratio off the rip. I want to render at maximum depth. If I come down here, I want to do VBR two pass. That way it scans it twice and gets the best quality period. Target bit rate and maximum bit rate, you always want to double that just because they already give you like a standard bit rate that's good for what the size is of this video, but I always double it. So 16 plus 16 is 32. 32 on both of those. Let's come down here. Let's do use maximum render quality and let's do use previews. So it's very simple when it comes to exporting a video for Instagram and getting that clear quality. Now let's clear this out. Let's say I want to do a square and I want it to look really good, high quality. Let's go to sequence settings. I'll usually do 1920 by 1920 and that makes a one by one ratio square at a 1920 by 1920 resolution, which is pretty high. I believe 1080 by 1080 is what Instagram's like minimum is, but you always want to go higher than what the minimal requirement is that way it's bigger and it shrinks it down bigger shrinking down is always going to give you way more quality rather than if you do 800 by 800 and then it scales it up to what the minimal of 1080 by 1080 or whatever it is if you're scaling up you're going to lose a lot of quality so always go big and let it shrink it with that compression because you'll get more quality out of your post so now we got that one by one ratio let's drag our project in keep existing settings so let's highlight that see where that is how big it is we can bring it down a little bit i think we're gonna go 89 Yep, 89 is perfect, that fits perfect. Now it fits perfect in the square. The square is 1920 by 1920, very large. Let's do file, export, export media. Let's go get that um, YouTube 1080p full HD just for those good settings. Then let's hit match source. Now it makes it that one by one ratio. Come down, click render at maximum depth. Always do VBR two pass, so it scans it two times. Double this number on the bit rate. 16 goes to 32. Use maximum render quality, use previews. And now you can just title it. And now you got a high quality square that you can upload to Instagram. All right, let's take this out. Let's talk about export settings for our IG story. Let's come here, change the sequence settings to 1080 by 1920, the opposite of 1920 by 1080, which is basically your camera turned vertical. What we want to do is we want to drag our video in and then boom, come in here and I'll scale it to fit it. So looks looking like 89 is going to be it. And like I was telling you earlier, I'll go frame to frame and then I'll cut, go to the end of this frame, frame by frame, boom. And I'll fix the position of this so I fit in there or whatever subject I want to fit in there. Very easy. I'll go through the whole video and do that same process. Then we export. File, export, export media. Pretty much the same thing. 
1080p YouTube full HD preset match source, which makes it that 1080 by 1920 size, render and maximum depth, VBR two pass, double the number, 32, use maximum render quality, use previews, and I'll title it, boom, and hit export. And that's how I do an IG story. The best way to get the best quality out of an IG story is actually turn your camera long ways vertical and actually shoot the videos vertical. That way you don't have to do any scaling up because when you, obviously when I said, when you scale up clips, it kind of loses a little bit of quality. So to get the best quality out of an IG story, you want to shoot vertical and then bring it in. Let's pretend that this is a vertical clip. What we would do is we would change the rotation to 90 and it would fit perfectly in there like that. Just to show you that it fits in a 1080 by 1920 IG story frame perfectly. Boom, let's take Take those out change the sequence settings back to 1920 by 1080 now this is what i'll typically edit a youtube video in if i'm like making a video for my youtube channel or if i'm out shooting a vlog anything like that i'll edit it in a 1920 by 1080 timeline and then i'll export out at 4k the reason that i export out at 4k now is because i realize that youtube gives you a higher quality it reads and the compression is different when you export really big for a 4k so when it does compress it it still gives you a higher quality than if you export it out at a 1920 by 1080 and upload it at 1920 by 1080 so let me give you an example if we export this video out at 1920 by 1080 right here and we export this one out at 4k this one's much bigger if you compress the 1920 by 1080 it'll shrink down a little bit then if you compress the 4k clip it'll shrink down a little bit but this 4k clip is still bigger than the 1920 by 1080 even after compression so you want to export higher so we'll bring this clip in right here let's do keep export settings we're in a 1920 this video was exported in 4k so it's bigger so scale to frame size, there you go. Now we're at 1080, uh, 1920 by 1080 P. So when I got my video all edited down in 1920 by 1080p, I'll go to file, I'll go to export, I'll go to media presets. This time we're gonna go to 2160 P 4K Ultra HD YouTube, that preset. It's already matched to the source correctly, 3840 by 2160, now we're at 4K. Render at maximum depth, same stuff, man. Come down VBR pass two. As you can see, the bit rate is higher because it's a 4K, but we still double it so if it's 40 i do 80. come down use maximum render quality use previews and title my video like that and hit export and that's how i export out videos for youtube even though a video may be shot in 1920 by 1080 and we export it out bigger when we compress it it's going to compress down a little smaller but it'll still look better than a 1920 by 1080 compressed down on YouTube. Any social media platform where you upload content, videos, or photos, they're gonna put compression on it. So if you put it in bigger and they compress it, always is gonna look better than if you compress it at the regular size and they compress it. So quickly, I wanted to show you guys how I actually transfer my files to my phone to get the best quality. I use AirDrop. So if you set on AirDrop, cut your phone on, set your AirDrop up right. If you have Mac to Mac, all I do is drag it over like this goes right to my phone. No quality is taken out of it. It's perfect, looks very clear on my phone. If you don't have Mac to Mac, I suggest using Dropbox. Download the Dropbox app on your phone and then go to Dropbox on your computer, upload that file to your Dropbox and then go download it in the app on your phone. That way you don't lose any quality when you're transferring to your phone and then you're going to upload. So that's gonna be it for today. That's kind of how I export my videos out for Instagram and export out my videos for YouTube. I hope that this helped you. If it did and you enjoyed this video, slap that like button and drop me a comment. Let me know if this helped you out at all hit the subscribe button if you're new here that would be awesome i would totally appreciate it if you're already subscribed here but you're not receiving the notifications when the videos come out hit the bell and you'll get those notices you'll see when these new videos come and i will see you guys in the next video peace